जय श्री राम श्री गुरु भी नम हेलो देर वेलकम टू सेक्शन एफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड एनालिटिक्स ऑफ सी एम ए यू एस पार्ट वन दिस सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स आर प्रेजेंटेड बाय ग्लोबल फिनेक्स आई एम साई मन कंटा योर ट्यूटर फॉर दिस सी एम ए कोर्स सो सर बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद द लेक्चर्स ऑफ सेक्शन एफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड एनालिटिक्स let me give you a brief introduction about that just like we did with all other five sections of your syllabus so if you see here section f technology and analytics it is for 15% weighted just like your section d and section e so 500 marks into 15% that would be 75 marks right all right so the question here is what is technology and analytics doing in certified management accountancy course sir we are cmas we are accountants we are management consultants why do we need to know about technology data analytics and stuff like that don't we have other people to take care of these things sir please understand technology is going to rule the world very soon we are not even kidding this there are i hope you all are uh, aware of the latest uh, uh, you know latest not latest latest it's been maybe few months since chat gpt has been launched at the time of recording this lecture in case you are watching it after a couple of years i cannot guarantee you there might be some uh, new new things happening by that time the uh, ai is going in a crazy direction at this point right so we know chat gpt initially when 3 3.5 versions were there it was able to uh, answer to a basic level now chat gpt version 4.0 is making wonders you can just give it a link and ask it uh, go through this link and summarize the entire link content for me like there is some five pages of blog post you can copy that link paste it in chat gpt version 4 and uh, you can ask it give me 10 bullet points summarizing the entire five page article it will be able to do that uh, you know there are some artificial intelligence where you can upload a word document or a pdf document and ask it to summarize that there is that and uh, i think uh, the, there is an another ai platform called mid journey right so in mid journey you can just give the tech uh, text instructions like for example i'll say um, spider man in a desert eating noodles i don't know i'm just randomly telling you some something and if i give that text prompt mid journey would be able to create an image for me that resembles the text prompt that i have given Uh, or i can say um an afro asian uh, ethnic female of age 25 to 30 with brown eyes and uh, black hair 5 uh, 6 feet tall or with uh, fair complexion and uh, wearing a red color sari or i can whatever it is whatever text prompt i can just give it and then mid journey would be able to process that and give me an image out of it right so <sighs> uh recently i saw one instagram post also where some people have taken extracts from ramayan and uh, other uh, extracts other uh, uh, what do you say um, books related to ram uh, lord sri ram and they were able to pick some text from there which uh, depicts how lord rama used to look when he was young and they in, uh, they entered that that text in mid journey and then there were couple of images that were created that resembled or no one no one knows how lord rama usually looked when he was young but yeah there were this images that were circulating on the instagram platform but anyways the purpose of me talking about all these things is that ai artificial intelligence is a critical technological advancement recently there is a post that uh, uh, chat gpt 4 i'm not talking about gpt 3 3.5 gpt 4 has actually passed the cpa exam cpa us exam yes you heard me right uh, i saw this post on uh, linkedin uh, given by ai cpa itself so gpt 4.0 was able to pass a cpa us examination sir don't you think ai if it is able to pass the cpa exam don't you think ai knows accounting calculations and all that stuff whatever we are learning ai is able to do that you have power automate you have micro uh, sorry um, ui path there are so many automation tools that are there in the market that can easily replace human work so 
as a management accountant if you don't know what are these technological advancements happening how can you harness the power of this technology you know robots uh, this artificial intelligence ai or uh, computers or softwares whatever technology technology can never replace human beings provided that particular human beings knows how to use the technology you know chat gpt will replace software developers which software developers sir those software developers who do not know how to use chat gpt if a software developer knows how to use chat gpt he can write a code of uh, you know that usually take 5 hours he can write it in less than 1 hour that means he is going to be the most powerful most productive most efficient employee in the organization nobody would fire him so you need to know how to harness the power of artificial intelligence and technology that is why this new section of your syllabus area technology and data analytics was introduced from jan 2020 it was not there before when we gave our examinations it was later on introduced into the course and curriculum of cma us so this is very crucial for you to know not just from exam standpoint but you as an individual also need to uh, update yourself so you should know these things sir so what are we going to learn in this technology and analytics chapters so one you you are going to understand what are information systems nothing but softwares so uh, what are the information systems that are there in accounting what is the uh, software development life cycle is dlc i think it should be there somewhere okay uh, yeah here system development life cycle is dlc so how are the software systems developed what are the stages involved in the development of a software system and all that stuff you should know erp systems enterprise resource planning enterprise resource planning however you are pronouncing it um then after that uh, you know how do we measure the performance and manage the performance in an organization enterprise performance management systems should be there dbms database management systems data warehouses financial versus non financial data all these things basically softwares and software systems information systems then we are going to talk about data governance sir governance means running the business right running the show running the state running the country the data governance managing the data so you know uh, data security is one of the most critical aspects in technological advancing world we have seen so many hacks data hacks right where we have seen facebook data getting breached uh, even tata backed the uh, uh what was that upstocks right upstocks stock broker which is backed by tata even upstocks data has been breached hacked and uh, the people registered with that stock broker all their details were hacked and leaked on the uh, dark web i don't know if you go, if you guys know about this concept of dark web so this is a secret place in the internet world where people exchange lot of unauthentic or unauthorized data softwares etc etc pirated versions and all that stuff so there on the dark web there were uh, sales of data like for example facebook data is hacked sir so they have usernames um, date of birth phone numbers email ids etc etc the user profiles they have a huge volume of database they are able to sell it on the dark web for as less as uh one dollar for 10 records that's very very cheap my dear friends less than 10 rupees per record if you are in if you are understanding in indian terms less than 10 rupees per record even there are cases where one rupee per record is also there suppose if there is one lakh database it is sold for one, one lakh rupees there are even cases where one lakh database is sold for 10000 rupees also if it is not that uh, updated database if it is old and something like that then unrefined raw data 1 lakh database for 5000 10000 also they sold on the dark web so data governance actually talks about what you need to do with your data all kinds of measures and all so there we talk about overview of data governance what is the data governance framework what are the different policies and procedures you should have in relation to data what is the life cycle of a data controls that you should have to make yourself secure from any kind of breeze, uh, breaches and cyber attacks i'll tell you a simple example again i don't want to give you too much information in the introduction topic but uh, when you go to some websites you might you might see one pop up saying that 
some we use cookies to track your progress in the website and to give you better information accept or close allow cookies you might have seen these kind of pop-ups right you have to click this before you continue using that website allow cookies clickering it all the website will load otherwise it will not load only so this is nothing but there is something called gdpr guidelines in uh, european countries okay so based on those gdpr uh, governance of data basically that is so due to these guidelines this is mandatory for the websites to show that they are collecting cash and cookies from your browsing history otherwise websites should not track your data websites should not save your data if they do not give you that pop up okay so those that is a part of data governance principle sir similarly we are going to look at this technology enabled finance transformation sir no need to explain this only how many of you are actually carrying the currency notes when you are going out we are in 2023 right now as the uh, lecture is being recorded so in 2023 how many of you are carrying cash when you are going out i can definitely say at least 70 to 80 percent of the people do not even carry minimum cash maybe 100 200 rupees also some people are not even carrying sir why because even if you go to a pani puri guy chaat masala guy sugar cane juice guy they are also having qr codes upi what not i was fascinated to see this uh, i stay in hyderabad so people from and around hyderabad should know this place but even if you don't know it's fine uh, there is a place in hyderabad called amir pet so the other day i was uh, coming on my bike uh, during traffic signal i was waiting there in amir pet uh, signal and uh, i saw one beggar carrying a swiping machine with her this female uh, somewhere 35 to 40 year old i guess i'm not sure but uh, she is carrying a swiping machine with her i was shocked to see that I was seriously shocked to see that but anyways so why am i talking about this upis and swiping machines and all that stuff so because the title itself is about that only na technology enabled finance transformation how the finance world is advancing due to technology uh, you go, you are all in the tech world you are all call yourself as gen z millennials and what not so you should know all these things so you should know what is blockchain you should know what is bitcoin you should know what are cryptocurrencies you should know ethereum you should know litecoin you should know uh, this 100 different coins that are coming out shiba innu and uh, what not uh, 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 ripple i do not even get to know do a doggy coin baby doggy coin so many things are coming up but yeah all these things will be covered within technology enabled finance transformation you can see sdlc software development system development life cycle then you have uh, business process analysis how do you analyze an existing business process and how do we improve it further robotic process automations artificial intelligence accounting data processing cloud computing blockchain cryptocurrencies all these topics will be covered in your syllabus again sir blockchain and cryptocurrencies will we understand everything no just the basics data analytics so all your business intelligence data mining analytics data visualization sir basically charts dashboards pivot tables and uh, power bi or tableau or whatever software you are using for your uh, dashboard preparation so data analysis data analytics visualization charts and all that stuff uh, so all these things data mining how do you extract relevant data from a big data a uh, big data it's called big data only but in case if you do not understand like a huge volume of data out of that how do i extract only required data that is called data mining so all these things we will discuss in this particular section f which is technology and analytics so i hope this introduction has given you an understanding of what you are expected out of in your section f and uh, what you are going to learn through this particular series of lectures in section f of cma us part 1 so i hope to see you all soon in the lectures and uh, until then keep smiling take care radhe radhe